we learned by the first and second week how to sharpen some of these chisels and tools. Uh, I'm still pretty new at it, but um, I can at least do a little bit of a demonstration. So we start off by flattening the back. This is, we're, I'm just going to sharpen a chisel for this. Yeah, so this one's pretty new, so we're starting with uh, 220 thread uh, sandpaper. You just kind of put a little pressure on it and just bring it across. Wow. You should start to see, uh, yeah, it'll turn gray like that. Then we use the shop vacuums to, to clean that up a little bit. Now that I've done that, I'm going to check to see if the uh, tip of the tool is uh, square, uh, which it should be. I haven't sharpened this one. Okay, it's not completely. So I need to, uh, I need to make sure that it's square. I'm just going to hold it flat to the stone on the edge like that. And I'm just going to bring it towards me. Which sounds awful, but yeah, that sounds awful. <laughs> and this is an oil stone. Yes, this is so. This oil. is an oil stone. The coarse side of, of the oil stone. And I've got a little oil on that to sharpen. Mm -hmm. Just keep it cool. So I do that, and then and I'm going to check to see if it's square, which it is. I'm going to check to see what the uh, what angle the bevel is at. Uh, we've been learning that between 27 and a half and 28 degrees is the best. These ones came as, as either 30 degrees or 25, and most plating irons will come as 25 out of the, out of the package. Um, so I'm going to grind it to, I'm going to hollow grind it to uh, between 27 and a half to 28. That would be the next step. So I'm just going to turn this on. Um, you want to use your thumb kind of close to the edge, okay. and uh, you can kind of sense how hot it's getting. Um, that'll prevent you. Well, we don't have an example of one, but if it, if you press it too hard or hold it too long there, it can get too hot, and then you can actually ruin the temper on the uh, corners or on the edge of it, and that weakens it. It doesn't hold a, an edge well at all. You have to be careful that that's why I have this cup of water here because it, it tends to get hot when I'm using it and I just dip it in there for like a few seconds and wipe it off and then keep going. So I'm just going to get started. Okay. Continue to, to grind away at it until that line disappears. And then after that, I can move on to the next step. This is what you're ultimately going for. This is a very sharp chisel. I've used this one the most though. And so I'm just gonna polish it up a little bit. So there are four stones that, we, that we've, we've been using. This is the coarse one. That's the one you start off on here, you know, to joint it. Um, the next level up from that would be the soft white. we have here. And so if I were still going to continue with that, if I had gotten it to, you know, this next phase, um, I would go from that. Um, I could go on to the core stone again, just to take it a few times over and get rid of any burrs. Um, and then I would go to this one, soft white, and I would just essentially just be taking it. Across. Well, first you need to put oil on it. You want to put a good amount on So after this one, I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to take this this chisel right here just to, to black surgical. But after that, we would go to uh, this is my um, hard white, although it's got kind of a pink tint to it. And you, of course, you dress that with the oil, and then um, I'll, I'll demonstrate how you would take it across that surface. This is my uh, black surgical, which is the the finest um, 
uh, grinding stone that, that we go to. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just to make, you know, the edge basically, you know, razor sharp. So the te technique for doing it, um, I don't know if you won't be able to see it on camera, but to tell, you want the uh, that bevel there, this this uh, this flatness right here, okay. to be flat against the stone the whole time. And you do, you want to be very careful that you're not, you know, lifting up or or sliding it like off the edge or anything like that, because it can just ruin your edge, and then you have to go back to you know coarse mm -hmm. grinding and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna take it, and then the way you tell that it's flat is when you're getting there, um, oil will squeeze out of the uh, end of it, if you assume you put enough on it. And then I'm just gonna lightly put pressure just with this hand. I'm not gonna lift or do, I'm just loosely holding it with this hand. And then- Trying to find that angle by yeah. feel. Exactly. And then I'm just gonna bring it back. Now, since this is the finer stone, you won't hear the grinding or really feel much of anything. It won't feel like it's doing anything, but- But you know that it is. It is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a really nice sound, actually. And then if this were, because this is the finer grain, I don't really have to do this um, as much, but you want to feel it to see if there's any burrs, because as you're dragging it this way, you're pushing steel up um, and out of the way, and it tends to catch on the back. And if you don't remove that, it'll, it dulls the chisel considerably, hmm. um, like the difference between being able to shave with it and, you know, not hmm. being able to. Um, so to get rid of that, you would take it and you would hold it flat against, again, you want to approach this carefully so you're not ruining your edge. And then you're going to hold it down and just kind of drag away quickly. And that can usually get rid of it. Steven uses, he goes like this a little bit. And that also works. You can alternate between the two. Mm -hmm. um, well, and then once you've done that, once you finish this stone, you go to what's called strapping, which is where you're dragging it across a piece of leather. And for this, you don't really, you're not as worried about lifting. You're actually, with a chisel at least, you're kind of digging it into the leather a little bit and just bringing it back and generating some heat. Um, and so this one, um, I've kept it's, it's best if you can keep this, you can sort of see this ridge in the middle. Mm -hmm. That just helps you see, you know, what you've sharpened and what needs to be sharpened. So this one you can see, um, oh, I can do better at that corner. Um, you can kind of keep track of what you have sharpened and what you haven't. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, kind of what you're going for.